What's up, YouTube? Happy Friday, everybody. So I just wanted to come speak on this whole um, Takari Lee situation with her mom, Jackie Christie. And um, there's now some like drama with her sister, Chantel. Um, if you guys haven't been up on basketball wise if you don't know who these people are um jackie christie is actually the wife of doug christie he's like a championship ex-basketball player and doug and jackie have been married for like a very long time they actually have like weddings like every year like they have like a new wedding every year so they get married once a year or something like really strange like that but jackie started off on uh basketball wives la i think it was around 2012 and then from there um she'd been on all the seasons of la until it you know just became the original basketball wives so now she's on there and there is a storyline that's going on with her daughter takari um takari has never been in the public eye i think that she actually made an appearance on like one of the earlier seasons of basketball wives la but we didn't know who she was you know so pretty much what's going down is um evelyn lozada on basketball wives actually had a storyline starting last or on the last season pretty much um where takari's baby had been burnt in daycare um he actually pulled a um a warmer of hot water like on him and he like received second to third degree burns and so um Evelyn, you know, her storyline last year was the Fund Me page where she, you know, was raising money to try to get help for the little baby because according to Takari and according to a lot of the people that are around Jackie Christie, Jackie Christie has not taken care of her daughter Takari um, or has not, you know, nurtured her, or been a mother to her as much as she has her other daughter Chantel. Um, and according to Takari, Jackie actually created the narrative that the reason why Takari didn't want to be seen or, you know, why their relationship was strained was because Takari felt bad that she was a big dark skinned girl and her sister was the pretty light skinned girl. Now, according to Takari, this is actually the narrative that Jackie herself created about her own child. Um, to me like i don't believe that takari felt that way about herself i think that jackie christie created that narrative herself for her daughter and you know for some reason or another which we 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 don't know but jackie has not been there for her daughter takari like she has Chantel. i mean if you guys have watched basketball wife Chantel has been on there like every season she's always you know beat and you know they just seem like they live like such a fabulous lifestyle or more fabulous lifestyle in comparison to takari who has like three kids um she's had like a, a baby's father or two i mean I, I really don't know that much about her story like that but she hasn't had like the the greatest life in comparison to jackie and her um daughter chantel so um takari recently did an interview on hollywood unlocked when i tell you that this interview was like so like i don't want to say like relatable but it just it made a whole lot of sense and it went to show me that everybody's story is not unique like we everybody has like the same type of like story you know what i mean so um i i could really like get into what takari was saying if you guys haven't um watched that interview i'll put a link to the interview there but <clears throat> it got really deep and then you also had it to where jason lee he's one of the hosts of hollywood unlocked was you know telling his story and you know a lot of the stuff with their stories paralleled and it was a very very good interview it was very insightful i have to say that i believe everything that takari was stating stating um it, it just it just came off as natural it didn't seem forced it seemed like everything she said made sense and it seemed like everything she said like correlated with jackie christie and what she's actually shown us on tv now i like jackie in the first season of basketball wives la like years ago um i remember this one scene where her and 
Malaysia and Drea and one of the this other lady that used to be on the first season like they all like, had this dinner where they like ganged up on Jackie and like wrote down all the lies that she had said and she, <laughs> they ended up leaving the dinner and Jackie was like just there by herself drinking she was like bye bye girls uh, guess what the lies are still there some bullshit like that but I liked her back then because I thought she was funny now I, I really could care less for Jackie Christie in my opinion, Jackie Christie is a deadbeat mom, um, especially when you have like grandchildren and especially when you have daughters, um, you know, girls have to go through a lot in this world. And for Jackie to treat one child better than her other, it's something about that is just it disconnects for me because I don't understand it. Um, and Takari was saying like how her father was in prison, but before Jackie had met Doug Christie, um, Takari's father was in businesses with Jackie. Like they had like some type of like business and then he ended up going to prison or something like that. And Takari ended up going to go stay with Jackie's mother, which is, um, who, she was on the show, but she, um, unfortunately passed away not too long ago, but takari stated that jackie did not raise her like she was raised by her grandmother um the only thing that jackie might have done you know good as a parent in takari's opinion would be you know providing money or you know what have you but she did not take the time to actually nurture takari and and provide for her as she did chantelle so um takari just spoke you know just very eloquently there's a lot of things that you'll find out um about her in that interview um a lot of stuff with her speech impediment you'll be able to understand where that comes from but like i just i i have to say that i was really impressed by takari especially since we haven't like you know heard from her since you know this whole storyline with evelyn and i also wanted to big up evelyn lozada because i think that she actually did something very very good by you know reaching out to takari and trying to start this gofundme page because the little boy was burnt like very badly and it's like a little infant baby and just to see those burns on him like i understood why she would like reach out and why she would you know donate the money and you know just want to help out especially since jackie christie <laughs> you know just has shunned her daughter and it seems like for no reason and if there is like a reason you know or you know there's something that we're we're not seeing like talk about it jackie you know what i mean also uh talk about it chantelle you know um i actually had uh, saw a tweet or i think it was an instagram post from chantelle um after the release of this hollywood unlocked interview with takari speaking her truth and chantelle just did not Chantel was very abrasive and combative in her response. Um, why? I, I don't know. You know what I mean? But that's a red flag to me right there because Takari just spoke so like calm and collected and everything was detailed and everything made sense and she gave places and dates and names and times and you know, this is why this happened, this is why this and then here comes Chantel. It seems like bitter and you know responding in a way that you know you just shouldn't especially when someone is like telling their truth and i understand you know the notion that chantelle is closer to jackie christie than takari i get that it's, it's really stupid and unfortunate but um it seems as if chantelle was just trying to stick up for jackie um even in her like wrong like she just seems like she's like a, a mama's girl and jackie christie can just do no wrong at all and even when she's like fucked up in her decisions which she has been quite often um chantelle just won't call her on it so i wanted to read this uh post that chantelle said in response to takari's interview she says i'll start by saying thanks because it it's the 
because it's the polite thing to do. But to be honest, you could e you could have easily texted me this accompanied by a personal apology for all the shit that you said and done both publicly and privately. I'm not with the public shenanigans anymore. That's why I've been quiet. I don't have no ill wishes towards you, but this ain't genuine and you know that. You put this up for your followers in the blog so you can carry this sad, sappy charade like nobody gives a fuck about you, don't want nothing to do with you, etc. I've been there for you and dare you to say otherwise. I stopped fucking with you off the strength of you and your poor decisions. Has nothing to do with mom. We all know how I get down. If I wanted to speak, I would. But the same way you don't want to forge a fake relationship with her, I don't want to forge a fake and genuine one with you. I haven't done shit to you. So how I got included in your mess and hit the <laughs> in the crossfire, I don't know. If you wanted me to hate our mom for the rest of my life, it isn't going to happen. Forgiveness is paramount. Moving forward is necessary. We only get one mom. Bashing her in the media moves us forward in that way. It gives you public sympathy and support. And then what? Exactly. Birthdays, holidays, etc. are being missed because you want to be in the media acting goofy. You call me when you ready to be real and own up to the shit Takari has done. Not Jackie. Takari. Until then, please don't speak about me on the internet or otherwise. Um... That response was bullshit in comparison to what Takari was saying in this interview um, because it seems like Takari was speaking facts like all of the details came off as fact based. This post like this Instagram response from Chantel was petty. It was stupid. It seems as if she's in denial just like Jackie Christie about the truth you know what i mean and 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 maybe there are things about takari that we don't know i'm not i don't know you know what i mean all i know is takari spoke her truth and whatever jackie and her daughter are speaking on basketball wives is theirs the one that i'm leaning more towards is takari's you know what i mean because jackie christie's truth has just been bullshit you know what i mean um, she's never gave like a definite answer as to why she doesn't feel close with her daughter why she hasn't like um it, uh, put her on TV as much as Chantel has been. Uh, why she took three months to actually get in contact with Takari after her son had, um, you know, experienced that that burning incident. Three months, you know what I mean? It's like, what the fuck? And if you if you just you know don't want to like be like a mom, or if you want to tell her like. You know, I, I just don't fuck with you because I didn't like your dad or like you're just not my cup of tea or I don't like you or something like say that and say that to the public. You know what I mean? But don't try to make it seem as if like you're like such a, a great mother and and that's not the case. You know what I mean? And then you have Evelyn Lozada like actually outing this situation for whatever reason. You know, I know it's to help uh, Takari and her son, but it's like. Takari actually made a good point in the interview. She said that if it was not for this situation, like, what would Evelyn's storyline be? You know, it says that she said that she's like, you know, getting tired of like, you know, who's Evelyn dating or, you know, what happened with this cheating baseball player or like her fertility issues or whatever. Like, the storylines are getting old and this is actually some real shit. So, like, the whole show right now is based around takari and um then you have jackie christie on the show making it seem as if like she's so upset by like evelyn lozada trying to do something good for this little baby or as if like you know she's you know coming for her daughter and jackie just loves takari so much it's like she's doing extra shit for no reason like she's fake you know what i mean and it's like it, it's kind of like difficult to like watch shit like that because something about like you know moms like you know abandoning their kids or like putting ki some kids over the other and you know exploiting the the girl on tv and her her situation is like something like really kind of like dark about that shit i mean it is entertaining you know what i mean but it's like it's kind of like sad to watch but um again chantel's response was petty as a motherfucker if your mom's wrong call her on her shit you know what i mean like if we're if the bible says to honor thy mother and thy father so that 
your days will be long upon the earth that does not mean you know be complicit in her her bullshit or you know when she's wrong like honoring her would be stepping up and saying you know what mom you're wrong you know what i mean like we need to like put this aside or you know i want to let the world know that i'm there for my sister or you know i just want her to be able to tell her truth not to actually come for her in like a public instagram post at the beginning of her post she said you could have texted this to me um you could have actually text your response to her instead of putting it on social media you know what i mean so that's that that just pretty much defeats the purpose of you even saying that so that's how i know that Chantel is just like you know just sticking up for jackie in her wrong moments and that's 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 not good either but i'm gonna post like a little clip at the end of the commentary so you guys can see what takari lee was talking about she kind of has like a speech impediment so i'm going to turn it up so you guys will be able to hear that other than that i'll be posting the link on my page to the hollywood unlock video it's very inspiring you know if you've ever been through um similar situations or know somebody that has i would actually take the time to go ahead and watch that video all right hope everybody has a great weekend and i'll be back on the tube Probably sometime this weekend, my mom but another has not commentary. Me at all. Right, and peace. I don't know why, you know, she said those things or whatnot, but whatever. She does. That's not true. Mm -hmm. I take care of my family on my own. Me and the, fa the father take care of our kids. Mm -hmm. There's no one else supplying our home. Uh, you have three boys. Is it the same father for all three? All four of my kids. All four of your kids. Okay. Be better. Be better than what they think you are. Better than even what you think you can do. Just be better. Being better is going to hold you back and make you exactly what they think. Wow. You mm. That's... That's something I need. Wait, to say live your line. Myself. Just go on and say your line. <laughs> that was deep. <laughs> I, I need to live my life. Because I, I know you want. That's his line. That I knew you wanted to say it, but it was deep. That was yeah. be better, not bitter. Yeah. Wow. Please. And I, and I would piggyback on that and say, and if you are bitter, give your give yourself some time to be bitter, because you know it's okay to be bitter. It is okay to be bitter. Just Sometimes. don't let it take over your life. Now that part. You know, live because you, and when you when you do decide, okay, I am over this, you know, you don't want your life to be gone. You want something to enjoy. Amen. Do you regret anything? I don't regret anything. Listen, it's all life, and it all made me who I am today. Anything mm. I can say I've been through, I'm sitting right here. So I went through it. You know, I'm, I'm good.